Lou here. So today I'm actually doing a live video for a change when it comes to my reviews because this one is kind of hard to talk about because this manga I'm going to review is not for children and obviously not suitable for YouTube. And I couldn't quite think of an entertaining enough visual so I thought, I know, why not just do a live video because that's a lot easier on me than recording game footage that fits the topic at hand which is difficult given the topic at hand, or just blank panning shots. I mean, this isn't Berserk 2016. Panning shots aren't gonna cut it on YouTube. So the manga I'm reviewing today is Innocent by Sakamoto Shinichi, and also its sequel, Innocent Rogue, which is basically just the same manga, but it's just he felt to focus more on another character in Innocent Rogue. Now, roll that intro and get started. <laughs> Charles Henry Sanson, the head of the Sanson family and based off the real-life Charles Henry Sanson, who executed more than 3,000 people in the span of 30 years or so, including Marie Antoinette and King Louis XVI of France. This guy has got an impressive rap sheet of killing people. Now, in this manga version, they do take a lot of creative liberties. Basically, the author heard that the real Charles Henry Sanson hated his job as an executioner and ran with it, which I think is really cool. So, in this story, Charles Henry Sanson hates the fact that he is an executioner and is extremely against the idea of executing people for crimes. Charles is very sweet and innocent and he doesn't want to be an executioner, so basically the story is this sweet, innocent man forced into a role he definitely does not want. It also focuses on his younger sister Marie, no relation to Marie Antoinette, as weird as that is. And she is basically the perfect executioner, but the issue in the story is that she is a woman born during the French Revolution era, so, you know, basically she's never gonna be an executioner, but in this story they come up with a workaround. Now, the story basically follows Charles, his sister Marie, Marie Antoinette, and King Louis XVI, and basically everything in their lives and including what caused and what happened in the French Revolution. Now, there are some flaws with this story, and I think the major flaw is the fact that time flows very strangely. Because the manga does start with Charles at 14, and then out of nowhere, Charles is now a grown man in his early 30s with two children and married. So, it, the time flow is very strange, but I get it because we really only wanted to cover the more interesting parts, and that makes sense to me. But because of the time flow of this story, and sometimes it starts in the future and then does a flashback to how the events happened, time in this series is not very linear, so therefore it can be confusing if someone's not paying attention. Also, there is a lot of exposition, because the author kind of expects no one took history in school, so basically it's both a history book and an exciting political manga, and I think though it is a flaw, I think it makes it very interesting. I mean, it has to be if I spent literally two to three days reading this entire manga, so... Overall, the story is very good, though. I was really captivated, and I was really rooting for Charles, even though, you know, some things happen, like with every character archetype Charles is, and let's just say, uh, he loses what makes him the title. So, other than that, uh, with Innocent Rogue, it basically focuses more on his sister Marie. Basically the same thing, it's just continuing, but focusing on Marie more, and her actions, her you know, stuff, and what goes on in her life, and it does focus on Charles still, but not as much, because as he's getting older, he's basically becoming less interesting to the author, therefore he's not focusing on him as much, but still, overall, very good story, and I was really captivated, even though there was a lot of exposition that made my head swirl. <laughs> Charles, he basically is my favorite character in this manga. He is sweet, adorable, naive. However, he is a character that is extremely fascinating because it takes one event. I won't say what it is because I can't say what it is on YouTube, but it takes one event for him to lose everything that makes you love him. But it is fascinating to see him go from this wonderfully sweet person to someone he would have probably hated in his early life. 
All right, Berserk fans, put down your pitchforks because Marie is better than Casca. Now, I like I said, put down your pitchforks. I see you getting them ready. Put them down. Now, the reason why I say that Marie is better than Casca, because first of all, Marie has never been in the state of a toddler for 20 years. Second, Marie takes charge. She does not care that she is a woman in an era that would literally hate her for being a executioner. She does what she wants and doesn't even care. And she's very morally gray too, which is very fascinating because basically so long as it benefits her, she doesn't care, and I think that's cool. And you know what else adds cool factors? The fact that she talks about herself in third person. And to me, that always earns cool points, because not many people talk in third person. Overall, I think all the characters are great. They're very well written and well executed. Even if sometimes a character is literally just introduced to die, but I still really enjoyed all the characters, and I found some of them very interesting overall. <laughs> reason I wanted to do this video is because of the artwork. He does these gorgeous sprawling pages with so much detail in them that it honestly rivals Kentaro Miura's artwork. And I was so blown away that I just had to do a video on this. Now keep in mind as I say this, this is a story about executioners. So there is going to be a lot of gore. Also this is in France so there's also going to be a lot of sex in there too. So basically a lot of blood gore and sex. So basically, if you're afraid of Game of Thrones, I would not recommend you read this manga. He draws his characters so beautifully and pristine. Like, you can see the detail in Charles' coat and how his hair flows in the wind. It's just truly gorgeous. And even with other characters that maybe aren't important, so they're made to look more realistic, they look so real that they look like an actual painting from the 1700s. And it's not just the pristine that he's good at, too. He is absolutely fantastic at drawing these dirty French streets. I tell you, the visuals really made me understand why the French Revolution needed to happen because uh, watching a bunch of poor people trample each other for bread was really heartbreaking to see in the visuals. <laughs> this manga is absolutely fantastic and I'm honestly shocked that no one has really talked about it. I had only ever heard of this manga through Tumblr and I was just shocked that something so gorgeously drawn and so well written had existed in the world of manga today when, you know, usually we just have lolly bait, so. Unfortunately, because this manga is so unknown to people, there isn't really an official English translation. There's only a fan translation. So when I was reading it, I did have to take it with a grain of salt because with fan translations, you really don't know when someone's going to be biased. <laughs> Dramatic murder. <laughs> So when I was looking for official other translations for this, according to my research, which was basically looking on eBay, it basically is only in French, Spanish, and Japanese. So if you are knowledgeable in those languages, awesome for you because you get an official translation. But for us English speakers, there is no official translation. So while you're reading the fan translation, please take it with a grain of salt. Also, it's not updated a whole lot. The last chapter, I believe, was updated for Innocent Rogue was chapter 66. And currently we're on like the 70th chapter or something. So keep in mind that the fan translation also takes a very very long time to translate. Overall, this manga is truly spectacular and I really hope you guys check it out. Now keep in mind, I really do need to emphasize with you guys that if you are over the age of 18, please read this manga. If you are under the age of 18, cannot handle gore for a variety of reasons or just can't read a manga like this in general, then no, please do not read this manga, especially the kids out there. This is not a manga for children or for people who can't handle gore. But if you can't handle all those things, then please read this manga. It is absolutely amazing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. And if any old or new subs would like to help support the channel in any way, then feel free to visit my Ko-fi page down below in the description, along with my social media tabs. For any subscribers, new or old, who'd like to help with video ideas or maybe want to talk about anime or something, then I have a fan server linked down below. See you next time!